Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever and wherever you woo. And welcome back to mm, the Beta Plan, playing Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. So I noticed that, uh, well, the list here is starting to get short. Are we going to have one more task before we enter our next chapter? I wonder. Let's talk to Ekaterina and tell her about our victory. I must take my leave of this city. I am sure the Tremere hold Aniska in their Vienna Chantry. I can no longer continue here while she remains in danger. Ardan was a consummate deceiver. The Tremere have gathered fearsome power in Vienna, and we are not ready for bloody battle with the Usurpers. They invited thee to play a sinister game. They know that one day we will have to attack their Vienna Chantry, and so they desire to force our hand before we are ready. I shall not be tricked. Only after we have gathered the other clans in alliance may we contemplate a strike against them. We will not venture into so palpable a trap. Um... Uh... I am Kristoff, okay? But Aneska will die. Many have died in the Elder Wars, and many more will die ere Gehenna comes. But fewer will die if we bide our time, and heed not the trickery of the Tremere. But I cannot simply abandon Aneska to those fiends? Thou canst and thou must. Thy claim upon her is born in weak need, mortal sentiment. Release such frailties, and spare thyself further wretchedness. We cut our ties to mortals when first we received the blessing of Allfather Cain. Thou hast been reborn in blood, cleansed of mortal claims. Thou art exalted. Thou art immortal. Thou art finally free. Yes, but I never asked for any of those things, and do you want to be immortal if all that you can do is fight? You, he still feel clearly love, but if he cannot express it, ooh, and if all your friends die around, well, unless you have other mortal friends, of course, immor immortal friends, sorry, Who? I don't know, man. Also, I really apologize that, once again, the screen cut off. It's annoying me myself, but once again, if I, I if I do it correctly, yes, we will see all the faces, but then the, the game's resolution will be really low, and that would be also bad. Uh, yes, I reject her. Nothing ties me to this life I once had. Whoa! That would be a 180 degrees nobody would believe, and besides, I don't want to... Uh, so, you know what? Let's trick her out. I thought we Prometheans respect the mortals. For a bumpkin of a holy warrior, thou dost reason like a Greek sage. Aye, we respect mortal men, but we do not seek kinship with the current breed. For lo these many generations, mortals have been cowed by the cleverness of the Inkanu, their faculties o'erthrown by skimming mages, and their wisdom tainted by demons. The little nobility left in them is tainted by corrupt rulers and priests. The mortals of Carthage were worthy companions. Their base progeny are not worth the spilling of the blood of immortals. Um, that sounds quite different from what you said before. And this is quite true. My pointer is standing right at the point, I would say. At least, if not the word noble, she is persistent, brave, if perhaps a bit foolhardy. Aneska is as noble a woman as any in Carthage. We must rescue her. Brazen brat! Thou hast earned no such right! Even faithful Wilhelm would quake in fear before making such a selfish request. Yes, but... Perhaps, but I make it all the same. Mayhap, in a generation or two, thou shalt be deemed worthy of making such a request. The fact of the matter is that you chose me, I did not choose you. There's a very big difference between those two things. Uh... Yeah, this is true. In a generation or two, she will die an old woman, even if she survives the Zemitsi. Then let her die! She chose her path, not thee! She chose to enter the world of vampires. 
Thou canst not save the foolhardy from their own reckless ways. Remember, like Cain, we are not our brother's keepers. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, whoa. No, no, I didn't drag her down to this fire pit. The fact of the matter is that you dragged me into this. You made me a vampire. I find it very strange that you consider me to be automatically in need of loyalty to someone that forces me. But then again, I did not have to... Uh, she chose to leave the convent when I actually asked her not to. That is also true. I mean, I specifically set her to be safe. Ah, uh, foolhardy woman. But I want to save her. I mean, yes, I agree. But that doesn't mean it's right. And the way I ran away kind of caused all this stuff, so oof. I dragged her down in this vile pit, and I will draw her back again. I forbid it. Tread lightly, lest thou arouse my anger and provoke my powers upon thee. Uh. I'm annoyed. <laughs> and not in the bad way. I'm annoyed in a good way. I, I this means she has a point. She left on her own, but I can go back to that because she, option gone. But. Whew. But I'm still uh, annoyed with the fact that she just lays claim over me while I kept my... And now I have to submit because of a threat? You know what? That's not... No, we're not going to submit to a threat. Do as thou must, but I must rescue her. I know not the fate of my soul, only the state of my heart. Very well. I see thy heart is fixed upon this course. And thou wilt not be denied. Go if thou wilt. Shouldst thou survive the Tremere trap, remember well this freedom I have bestowed upon thee. But I shall not attend this fool's errand. Only a Malkavian would follow thee. Then call me a moon mad child of Malkav, for I shall go. Wow! <laughs> Willem, thou art true a friend as any in God's kingdom. A true fool. Mayhap I shall yet see this god of whom thou art overmuch fond. Or mayhap we shall tear the foul halls of the Tremere down around their scabrous ears and bring the black heart of their sire to a Katarina to wear as a charm. Wilhelm, thou art mad. Two Canites cannot survive the house to Hexi. Not two, three shall go. Though I have no wish to see the inside of another Tremere chantry. I shall discharge my life boon by accompanying the brave Bruja, who pried open in the jaws of the Tremere trap and released poor Eric. Where Kristoff goes, Serena goes. Mayhap four shall prevail where one cannot. Mayhap I shall have to replace four Prometheans. Come, we leave for Vienna. Interestingly enough, Serena joins us. <sighs> I know this is going to sound really bad, but, uh, you know, Serena is starting to, hmm, in comparison to, uh, Anushka, because, you know, Anushka is really, really nice and all and then, but the whole thing, the way we fell in love is kind of ridiculous. We held hands and, oh my god, you must be the one. And again, you, you can have that happen, though. I just want to say that... Serena, I don't know if you... I know you have the lowest humanity of us, or at least you had. Um, let me check that again. 50 versus... Yeah, you still have that. Uh, but, wow, my lady. You are more with me than I expect. And besides, once again, this is just simply the way A. Katarina apparently thinks. Eric owns us a boon, so he belongs to me, so he belongs to the Prometheans. I don't think Eric ever said that he was a Promethean. You know, don't think that that's what This was... means traveling through the Bohemian forest. It is beset with werewolves, mortal enemies of our kind. Few canines survive the road. There will be no trouble with the moon beasts while I am here. 
My clan has made peace with these creatures. We will have safe passage through the forest. Very well. Let us leave by the east gate. Very well. Very, very nice. And that is indeed something I also Let's like. Loose thy rat about the gangrel. As said, they are quite bestial, but then again, they're also mm, and in, in, in tune with nature in that way, but still. Now I'm also wondering, <clears throat> we have Eric with us. And uh, well, we may need some armor for him. We have no armor. I didn't store it. I all sold it. Perhaps now it's the time, because I I saw a very good armor. A, a, an armor that I was like, yo sir, but it required 60 humanity. I have 65, but Eric does not have 65, he has 60. So maybe perhaps we buy that for him, along with giving him our uber weapon. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeedy. Because I reckon Eric will have the strength to carry it out and to use it. And because I don't know if we return, we're going to take every little scroll with us and, uh, well, we'll organize everything. Also, we need to take, of course, a little nap. Because, well, we need to be sure that we can level up our powers, but that's probably also what he is good for. As our, better to say, the power that he is uh, available, Earth Melt. Which, something, by the way, also Willem has, but yeah. Hmm, Eyes of the Beast. Increases visual senses. Is that the same as heightened senses? I wonder what the difference between the two of them is. Shopping. Shopping time! And this time, we're probably gonna do that on camera. After all, we have some mm, interesting things to take. You can't use it. Why not? Minimal strength theft. Oh, 45. You. 40 humanity only. That is not a lot. Yeah, that's not a lot at all. That, that's something to be said. Um, by the way, now we should be able to... Yes! We have now the ability to learn Tom Arturgy. Blood magic. Alright, because we at least increased our wits for five. By the way, how big are your wits? Eric. 25 only. Intelligence 15. Ah. Not a very good learner, but at least more in tune with himself than... Oh, well, I was until shortly. But uh, I still think Wits might just be higher just for lower frenzy chance. But the way we control our team now, well, we're doing better at controlling all those things. Anyways, if we're going to... Now, let's take away all the items that we have stored here in Prague. But I definitely have the feeling that we're going on to a new chapter. So let's us sell everything that we do not need. I wondered if I would have said to her, obey, if I would have obeyed her request. Oh, don't mind if we do. They are going to give very, very little to us, but it will be enough to be all four of them. Assuming the other two also respond. Well, at least one. Yes, both of them. Thank you very much. Um, the, matter, the fact of the matter is that, well, with... Um, if we're going to Vienna, I wonder if we're going to go back over here and be able to, well, get our stuff back. And uh, if, unless we perhaps said to Ekaterina, yes, we're going to do that, and perhaps then something different would have happened. Now, I doubt that in a game of 2000, but I wonder what would have happened. Good day to you, young sir. Did anyone ever try that one of my watches to not say uh do not be like me and to uh, say damn the woman i would say yes ma'am we will listen to your wise counsel 55 but it's bashing i'm not really keen on it so is the same good thing still here blessed this is a dread great sword 55 chance causes fear. Lethal 70. That is a significant amount. And we have the money for it. Gloves of dexterity. Gloves of accuracy. And uh, yeah, unfortunately he changed all again. He had some cool armor, but it's gone. Dread Felchion. Causes fear in opponents. What do you have by the, by the way right now? 40 with 10 accuracy. And Dread Felchion is better than that, right? Yeah... 
Yeah, it is, but is it worth it? 40, 15... It is, it is better. You know, and because he doesn't really need weapons, I really wish I had some freaking armor left for it that I didn't sell that. But to buy back that now feels so silly. I... I really wanted to buy the big strong armor for him, and now I have like, yeah, Because these accuracy gauntlets increase offense plus 5. Nice, but this one gives already accuracy 20. It sounds so... Efficient? Of money? 4,000 for it, when this also gives all defenses, and there's no defenses set for the accuracy gun. So I have the feeling like, what, wow, that are all gonna go? I mean, it looks like these, but, you know, it doesn't stay there, and then I'm kind of hesitant to use it. Ooh, 790 dough for that, I might do. And again, we're really relying on using this clause, but he's not going to use his powers every, every turn. This is considered 131. Bashing, we'll sell it, and we'll buy him the, or was it, exquisite greatsword. Good day to you. Thank you. Whoa! Now doesn't that look like he is some? Well, we should have bought a claymore in that case, but some mm, Celt warrior. Yes, indeed. That's what he looks like. Old manly with all the hair on his back. I hope you like it, lady. Or ladies, uh, I, I have, if I am correct, I have two ladies watching this series. One who watches as well. How can I say? We're uh, like a true watcher every episode. I know it for a dragon, but I. The other one is a bit of a lurking, and it doesn't matter if you have nothing to say of uh, that you think is of importance. No need to talk. Silent waters have deep, deep grounds, and they are very interesting as well. I uh, do withdraw. I think I I've told before that I actually love the both type of extremes, by the way. Both extrovert and introvert. Something in between is more or less mm, for me, but that's just me. And there's many women there uh, are. Uh, there are so many men there are that, uh, well, have different tastes. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I want to use blood yield in order to increase my blood. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna help. <clears throat> Empty. Uh, we'll take all this with us. We never know when you're gonna need the scrolls. We'll need to organize it a little bit later, but... I think the first order of business is... Yeah, no, I also really want to see that earthen stone, because it says resting. And normally, when you sleep in your haven, that's when you rest, and when you, well, increase the things. And I also want to see what Tom Rattigy can do. So... A little bit of a slow episode. I, I have to admit, but, uh, well, we do want to level up, so, and the last time I skipped it, I know, and this time I'm just showing you everything, and uh, well, we'll see how much people like this episode. Okay, so, Tom Martini, Blood Rage, forces the target to spend blood. That sounds to me like a very good ability. Well, first of all, first of all, Celerity, ooh, that's cost 4,000. Yoza. And feed? 3,750. Ow. <laughs> well, they are the top of the line, of course. Celerity. I, I, I use this power all the time. Blood Rage. Forces the target to spend blood. Does that mean he uses a power, or does he just randomly lose his blood? Uh, not very sure. Not going to increase that so much. Perhaps all to five. All is good. But uh, I don't really want to go into this because Dreadgaze. Well, you we have the charisma, but mm, causes fear on the target. You know, we already have a weapon that does fear. Uh, I wish I should have had actually more focus per ally. So, okay. Willem. We uh, increase, not celerity, we are the celerity dude, and you already have celerity free, that's enough. I kind of want to do the Cloak of Shadows, what is this? The sky is the user of the target creature, I'm not sure if that matters. Cloak of Shadows, increase this, you're going to be our sneak guy. Potence is the home way you hit harder. Profian, I, I, I put a lot of experience into it, I really wish I would have known that I would have gained the Gangrel, that's kind of... Well, I don't want you to spoil it for me, don't, don't get me wrong, but... Ah, I feel that all the XP that we put into this is now kind of... You know, I shouldn't have done that. 
Luckily, I never increased these two, but I did think I take Earth Melf and took two shapes of beef. So yeah, I put quite a bit of power into that. Um, Cloak of Shadows I loved, by the way, just in general. So. I do think a lot of weapons also cost 40 strength to use, right? 445. I saw a lot of 55, but it's for two handers. I mean for one hand. No, that's for 35 thing. I think that's the exact proper amount of strength we should have. Let's not increase that. Um, okay, Cloak of Shadows increased. And we're not going to increase any more Profium because we have now a Profium expert and we should really not use that power. Um... Now I wonder if we're ever going to get, of course, a Nosferatu, but since we killed them already a lot, let's use a Mask of a Thousand Faces just to see what comes. Conceals the cutlery from sight. The entire cutlery? Cloak the Gathering, yes please, and which increase... You know what? That feels like Willem. Though, on the other hand, he sometimes is really, really, really bad at using his powers. Cloak the, mm, the cutlery. That makes me realize, perhaps this... Reset. Uh, 40 you said, right? 40. 40? Voila! Cloaking the cautery. We'll have to see how much this lasts in time, but now the whole entire group can be concealed. I think that's useful. We could sneak up on an enemy now in defensive, then go aggressive, and then every or use powers, and then everyone can go attack when we put on aggressive. I can see tactics here. Willem, you're going to be our sneaky warrior. We'll increase probably potence later, but this is your, your shining light. Lure of Flames. I think Torch sounds like a really bad thing. Summon Soul was good for extra power, but I, for some reason, I see Serena as a... Well, she's going to use a lot of uh, things like this. Allows exploration for extra four. I thought it was just a little too short. I'm going to increase it once. I don't know why I would need... To increase spirit touch is just working fine, so let's not do that. Um, Lake Wind, what the, does that anything? No, I need also minimum intelligence, so I can't really do that right now. Increase uh, summon sword, I like that better than shambling hordes. Uh, in general, yeah, let's keep it like this for now, and later the extra XP. Shape of the Beast, no, actually not. We're gonna keep that with Willem, besides, you are our claw man in general. And, uh, you, well, you have animalism. We don't have that. And quell the beast. Minimal manipulation must be 50. Yowza. Our rings tend to increase our... Hold on. Our bracelet. Is, uh, that's appearance, right? Yeah, that's all appearance. That's not manipulation. Yeah... Bucketing. Greater summons. Yeah, uh, fortitude. Feral claws. Let's make the man what he is. And beckoning. There we go. We've done the leveling. And next time. No, no. We're going to go on the road right now. Because otherwise the episode is like. Oh, so boring. It's only like shopping and. Oh, they were still up here. Alright. Um. We, we need a little bit of more story. I mean, story is really good. <laughs> Don't mind, get me wrong. Story is very important. But let's get a little bit on the track. Northern Ringstrasse. That sounds like we're in Vienna already. And it's empty. Holy sweet but duty. Attend me. Maybe I can actually get in here. Is this our haven here? It sounds like it. It sounds like a desecrated church. I can't get in here, and this is some for some reason. Oh, holy, ho, 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 holy, ho, hold, hold, hold. Ah! I noticed that this was different lighting. This is our haven over here. Well, I'm glad I took everything with me. I'm going to probably off camera then. Yeah, this is the rest uh, thing. Safe. Oh, okay, that was safe. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm probably going to uh, put some things in the vault again. The stuff that we had in, in Prague. But I'm glad I took it all with me now. And that, well, 
here we have our new spot. But I think I'm going to stop it here then, because, well, at least we have arrived in Vienna. I think that's a good point. I say, I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril, yields great beauty.